I'm Austin from Pack Hacker. Today, we're taking a look at the Chrome Industries Ruckus 23 liter backpack, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. Starting off with the main fabric, we're looking at a 300D polyester, and on the bottom, we're looking at 900D. Um, we have the leather chrome logo on the front, which I think uh, is a nice heritage look for the pack. We also have a top grab handle here. This top grab handle is kind of an old school design that's um, more looped. It doesn't have um, thick padding or anything like that. For the zippers, we have YKK zippers and paracord zipper pulls that are bright, easy to find and easy to use. I really enjoyed using these. I think they're a great feature of the pack. And for the buckles, we have Duraflex buckles and hardware throughout the pack. Moving on to the harness system, we can start with the shoulder straps. These shoulder straps are fairly thin, however, they do have padding and they do have the mesh on the inside. I think that the padding is adequate for the capacity of the pack. Considering it's a 23 liter pack, you're likely not gonna be loading it up with like super heavy items. Um, there's also the sternum strap, which I found comfortable and easy to use. My favorite part about the sternum strap is the fact that both sides are adjustable so it stays centered. And what that helps me avoid is when I'm not using the shoulder strap, it doesn't get all hung up in um, one side of the um, shoulder strap, which I've had happen with packs in the past. We also have the luggage pass-through here, which accommodates a range of uh, luggage handle sizes, which I think is really nice. I, uh, I think I find it interesting that the, you have to choose between either having the water bottle side up or having the zipper access side up so if you do have that, you have easier access. However, it's more difficult to, um, to balance the bag because the water bottle is gonna be a little bit teetering. And lastly, just the uh, mesh on the back panel. I found this to be adequate. I took it on a hike and I didn't feel my back getting too sweaty or anything like that. It does feel a little bit cheap, but I think it gets the job done. So here's how the pack looks on. I think it forms well to my body. You'll find that this pack uh, doesn't have a ton of structure, so depending on what you put in it could make it more comfortable or less comfortable. It's not like a packable backpack where it doesn't have any structure. It certainly has some. However, it's not the most structured pack that I've dealt with. So I have a laptop in here now, and that really helps because it's something that's stiffer and flatter, so it feels quite comfortable to me now. However, I've used it with uh, like rock climbing equipment before, and if you know you have a carabiner that's sticking in the back, then you might feel that a little bit more. We also have the sternum strap here, like I was talking about before, and it's nice that it fits centered. So I really like that. Moving on to the front stash pocket, I really liked using this pocket uh, because it doesn't dig into the main compartment. You can see here, I have like this toiletry kit in here. And once I take it out, there's still this space, like it kind of forms this dome instead of digging into the main compartment and taking away from that leaderage um, that I could be using for stuff in there. Um, this uh, zipper does have a flap over it. It's not super long and I haven't found it get caught or anything. I usually prefer something without a flap, but I think this certainly does a good job and I don't mind having it there. And it's a little bit extra protection. This, this material certainly isn't um, you know, super water resistant, but it's a little extra protection if you did have something in there that you wanted protected and you got caught in the rain or something, you just have a little bit more peace of mind. Moving on to the water bottle pocket. This water bottle pocket uh, does a good job of being able to accommodate different range of water bottles. Uh, you'll see that there's some elastic here that I can certainly fit a bigger water bottle if I wanted to. Um, one thing to note is that because the zipper can go down right to the base of it, uh, you certainly have to watch out for that. Like if you zip up your pack clothes on this side and you put your water bottle in, then you're kind of digging for the zipper pulls. Not a big deal, just something to be aware of. Um, last thing I wanna talk about 
um, for the external components is the laptop compartment. Overall, I think the laptop compartment was easy to use. It's efficient. It doesn't eat into too much space of the pack, and it does provide some good padding here for my laptop. The only thing that um, I was disappointed with was the fact that there is not a false bottom in this. So there's no room in between the bottom of the pack and uh, where the laptop compartment finishes. Uh, so I was a little disappointed in that because if I did accidentally drop my pack with a laptop in it, I want it to feel like it's, uh, it's gonna be protected and I have a little less confidence in that knowing that there's not a false bottom there. All right, so moving on to the main compartment, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is this three-quarter zipper. I think this adds a ton of versatility to the pack in terms of being able to transition from a daily carry to travel to I used it to bring rock climbing gear to the rock climbing gym. Um, and it just makes it so much easier to kind of see what's going on and really get in there. So you can see I have some packing cubes here. I have a tech pouch. I have a jacket. Um, and it's easy to access all of this and to make the most out of the capacity. So I really, really like what they did with the three-quarter zipper. Um, there's also the bright yellow material on the inside. I think that's great. You know, easier to contrast if you have, say, you know, if this was darker and you had darker items that you were putting in some of these back pockets here, they might be harder to find, but because it's yellow, it's easier to find things that you put, say, you know, pens or, I have just like a little pill case in here, for example. So I really like that as well. One thing I didn't like so much was uh, this internal pocket right here in the main compartment. It was just a little awkward to use. You know, you're trying to dig your hand in here, but if you're using your pack and you have it standing up, if you have items in here, you're kind of contending with the items to try and reach in there. So I find myself not using it so much. Instead, I was using the front stash pocket a little bit more or dividing items up into something like a tech pouch. So there you have it, the Chrome Industries Ruckus 23 liter backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.